Well, the largest food and wine festival in New Zealand is on its way to Wellington. Travel writer Debbie Griffiths has been gathering the details. Morning, Debbie. Morning. Now, the food show is where chefs go to show off and foodies flock to find the latest techniques and gadgets and everything they need for their kitchen at home. Now, I met a chef who's going to be showing there for the very first time. How about a holiday that tickles those itchy travel feet, as well as the taste buds? The food show in Wellington starts this Friday. I'm here to meet one of the exhibitors. She's described as a new shining star of the real food world. So how did you get involved in the food show? Uh, fluked it, really. <laughs> um, perfect timing. We've just moved back to New Zealand from Perth uh, in January. And my new cookbook, A Year in My Real Food Kitchen, has just come out. I'm reintroducing myself to the New Zealand kind of food scene, having been away for the past five years in Perth. So, yeah, it's just kind of worked out perfectly. She's part of a rising trend that we're seeing with people that are eating um, healthy food and gluten-free or, or vegan, vegetarian. Um, if you ask me what I would see as a trend that's happened um, since we first started the food show in 2000, is that is a rising trend. Yeah, I grew up vegetarian, so my food is naturally vegetarian. Uh, and my both my daughter and myself are gluten intolerant, and we discovered that probably about eight or nine years ago, so we've been eating this way for quite a long time. Tell me about the loaf that you've made for us today. This loaf is the dark chocolate buckwheat and pear loaf. Um, it's from my first cookbook, My Darling in the Time. I use a lot of whole grain, gluten-free flours, um, and that's actually what one of my demos is at the food show. This theatre seats around 400 people, and so non-stop demos go all day. Giveaways are going on in there, recipe handouts when you go, and you really do leave feeling like you've learned something, that you can have a dinner party for six with no sweat, because you've learned from Simon Gold how to do it, yeah. You've been to the Christchurch show. You had a really good response from people there, didn't you? Yeah, a lot of people said it's just really nice to see someone presenting healthy food in an achievable way. So that's kind of my goal with everything I'm doing is to just show people that it doesn't have to be scary if you just get back to the basics of real food. Cooking with fresh local produce, simple grains and bits of fruit, natural sweeteners, it doesn't actually have to be difficult. The show in Wellington typically gets between 13 and 16,000 people a year. It's a very good venue to have the show in because people can take the train and it's circular and there's something about the circular nature of that venue um, that is really special for that event. And it just smells good. Oh, it looks fantastic and it does smell really good at food shows and the thing I noticed as a newbie going to one is that everybody arrives with their suitcases to get all of the bargains that are on office. So if you're a first timer make sure you take your suitcase. Yeah. So where is this one being held? This one is in Wellington, it's at Westpac Stadium. Now you can save some money by actually buying tickets online, $23 for adults but we have Emma Galloway's book to give away today. So all you have to do is head along to the cafe Facebook page and be in to win that book and a double pass into the show as well. And I've had a bit of a squiz through this book too and it looks absolutely beautiful, gorgeous stuff. Hey well Debbie thank you so much, always a pleasure having you in and we'll see you again next Wednesday. Great.